Hey guys, how's it going? Things are uh, interesting around here. We have been staying home, except for a couple trips to the grocery store and one trip to get dog food. This time we actually decided to meal plan for two weeks and we shopped for that. And we are hoping that will keep us out of grocery stores for a while now. We've been finding new patterns and routines of being at home and it's been mostly good except for the extra dishes and messes. I think we're all starting to get used to being around each other 24 seven. I know we're extremely privileged to be in this position and I don't take that lightly. My heart aches for all the people who have to make hard choices right now and the people who are going to work and keeping the food supply chain running. I'm so thankful and all the doctors and the nurses and the medical people who are literally putting their lives on the line to keep other people alive. I am extremely grateful for that. This time last week, I did some outfit planning for the week. I pre-planned five easy at-home outfits and I wore them more or less Monday through Friday. I didn't realize how helpful that little roadmap was for me until Saturday when I got out of the shower and wondered what on earth to wear. Having regular easy to grab from the closet outfits instilled a sense of normalcy to my days, which was super helpful. So I'm doing it again and I thought I'd once again share my thoughts and process with you. So I looked at the forecast for the week and cold and rain. So while I'm going to be indoors 24 seven, um, we we try to be mindful about how we run the thermostat. And so we try and keep the house at right around like 69 or 70 degrees Fahrenheit. And sometimes that feels a little cold. So I like to take that into account when planning my outfits. When there's less sun outside, it's a little bit cooler in the house. For this round of outfits, I'm going to go for comfy, but also pulled together, which is basically what I always go for, but shoes optional. For Monday, I'm going to wear these pleated pants from Only Child. I believe they're called the Keaton pant um, with this lightweight, thin white turtleneck and a jean jacket. And of course, slippers. I've been in search of a good pair of trouser style pants for a while, and I'm super excited about these. They're definitely a fun change up from my beloved wide legs. For Tuesday, I picked the Dylan tunic also for my partnership with Only Child and paired it with my softest stretchy jeans. I think I'm going to be on a steady diet of slippers for the time being, but I may sprinkle in some meals here or there for a change up. Sometimes in the middle of the week, I need an ultra simple outfit. For Wednesday, I chose black wide leg bra silk pants and a slim fit cotton black sweater. I'm adding a nice pair of hoop earrings and slippers and calling it a look. If I was leaving the house, I might add black high top sneakers. On Thursday, I am wearing my vintage jeans. Vintage jeans are a denim staple for me. I'm wearing my very favorite pair along with this cotton linen sweater. I love a good, simple outfit. The most satisfying ones are usually made with pieces I absolutely love on their own. When standing in ultra simple outfit, it's the little things like a unique vintage wash or a sweater with texture that make it still feel interesting. Fridays are my favorite day of the week and sometimes I like to celebrate that with an extra special outfit. So I'm going to wear a feel good shirt. This one is from Veta. It's so pretty that it makes me feel extra good. I'm pairing the shirt with these soft stretchy jeans which I super love. They're really comfortable and I think they look really good and one of my favorite sweaters, which is also very soft. You might notice a theme here. And I'll probably wear slippers again, but maybe, maybe I'll spring for the meals since it's Friday. So that's my little roadmap for what I'm wearing this week. If there's anything you're curious about, I tried to include all the pertinent information and links down in the description box. Um, what about you guys? What are you wearing this week? If you're working from home, um, are you getting dressed? Are you staying in your sweats? Are you staying in your workout gear? Let me know. And um, as usual, if you like this video, I would so love it if you subscribed or gave me a thumbs up. I hope you're able to find some peace and rest during this stressful time. Much love to you guys.